You are watching the Computer Programming University and in this video I want to show you how to create your first shell script and then in the next video I'm going to show you how the shell scripts actually work. I'll make some comments about that. So, first of all, first step is always to smile because learning should always be fun. So let's get right into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start up my preferred editor, VIM, and I'm going to create a script called My First Script. Very original name, and I spelled first wrong. Doesn't really matter, but I'm going to correct it anyway, and it's still wrong. I was just wanted to make sure you guys were paying attention. Anyway, so VIM, my first script, and here we can see I actually already created a script here, hash bang forward slash bin forward slash ksh. This is identifying where the interpreter is located so the shell knows which interpreter to use to interpret my script. And this script just simply says echo hello. So what does that mean? What happens when I try to run this? So if we actually get out of here and we did ksh my first script, we get hello. Hello. How are you doing? Anyway, so that's all it does. Very, very simple script. We can actually go to another level and have it do something else, perhaps. Maybe we want to also know the date. I'm going to hit insert, go to the end of this line, hit enter, and I can type in date. Right? And I could also do plus percent D to get the date in a certain format that I want. Let's go get out of here and examine the results. Look at that. Hello and the date. Nice. Now we could also do something like perhaps we want to say hello. I for insert. Today's date is. And I can say dollar sign, parentheses. A little more of an advanced thing here. I'm showing you a little bit of uh, some secrets here. And we're lazy, so we're just going to copy this. And we're going to come up here, and we're going to paste it right into the parentheses there. And then we're going to see what happens when the script runs. What's going to happen? Look at that. Hello. Today's date is 05 slash 09 slash one four. Nicely played. So there you go. So a lot of neat things you can do in scripts. And there you have it. So I'm just going to stop right there. Creating scripts, it's that easy to do. Now, all you need to do, I think the main thing to understand, if you've never created a script before, to understand how this works, think of scripts in this, from this standpoint. All right? So, in the command line, you can type a lot of different commands. ls to show the directory, pwd to show the current directory. Um, I can type in ps to see processes that are running. You know, a lot of different things I can I can do. I believe top is on this as well. So top is showing me all the you know what's taking up my taking up my CPU. A lot of stuff you can do, right? All in the command line. Type it in, hit enter, and hopefully you don't just type a bunch of googly gook like I just did. Type an actual command. But now let's go to the next level let's say you're typing in something over and over and over in a regular basis a uh, complex command like top dash g and pipe it to uh doodaloo and uh, boobly boop bopply bop and option h and pipe that to uh pooply whooply and then you pipe that to looply duply Man, I'm not going to type that in every single day. Enter scripts. So that's the idea. Think about automating things. Instead of typing in all these commands every day, all the time, getting sick of it, getting bored with it, you can put it all in a script. So you just type it in one time, and then you run the script, and it's going to automatically uh, do these things. So again, think about taking the commands from the command line and putting them into a file where you can just run them automatically. Uh, an analogy is to think about your, 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 your phone. In your phone, you have numbers that you can store. 
you don't want to type in all the numbers or d dial the numbers every time. One, three, one, zero, five, six, nine, blah, blah, blah. No, press and hold one or however you access your, your, your address book or whatever it is. That's the idea. A script is your address book. A script is your presets. So if we go into our script here, we can pretty much... Again, with that the way of thinking that I just gave you guys, you can think about pretty much anything that you'd normally type in a command line. You can type it in here. LS, show me what's in this. Show me what's here. Show me where I am. Tell me what date it is. Tell me what processes are running. And then when you do that, I want you to filter from that. Um, actually, don't just just grab all the processes and then. Uh, filter from that certain things like anything that has the letter A in it, A lowercase or uppercase A, show me that. All right, and then when you're done, say, I'm done. So that's the basic idea of how scripting works in Unix. Obviously, things can get a lot more complicated than that, but I think you get the idea, and that's the point of the video, to let you get the idea of how this whole thing works. So, boom, it's going to do all this crazy stuff. Uh, it did an LS, and it did a PWD, and it did a date, and it did a, a PS, and a, I'm done. And are you done? Yes, I'm done. Okay, so that's it. Now, before you go anywhere, you probably want to go ahead and, I think I clicked on another window, you probably want to go ahead and click on uh, this here because this is going to take you to the next video which is going to show you how a script actually works kind of get get under the hood and see some of the technical details in terms of how a script works behind the scenes also thumbs up this video and subscribe it's free just one click and it means a lot it's very important to me it just takes you just a second to go down to the lower left there click on the subscribe button if in the future you don't like my videos you can unsubscribe I don't think you're gonna do that but you can unsubscribe so it's it's that easy that simple but it means so much to the channel so much the growth of this channel this is not TV this is the internet so go ahead and do that really appreciate you subscribing if you're watching computer programming university and again you can go ahead and click right here here to go and see the next video which I'm gonna make some notes about how this thing works under this behind the scenes under the scenes behind the scenes under the scenes whatever works for you always smile learning should be fun